Now to the coronavirus crisis. New video out of China is giving us a glimpse of what life could look like on the other side of the pandemic. It shows huge crowds gathering at a recently reopened water park there. And as you can see, it is packed. NBC4's Robert Kavasik alive in our newsroom right now with what health officials are saying needs to be done here in order to stop the spread. Robert. Stopping the spread at party houses, Colleen. The LAPD confirms to NBC4 tonight 13 homes were sighted this past weekend, and for a few, it could soon be lights out. Looking at our daily numbers, the frontline fight continues, but health officials now fear another threat is looming in the not too distant future. While the city of LA now considers cutting off the power to three homes where apparently the partying doesn't stop. <laughs> In Wuhan, China, they're just getting started. In the city where coronavirus kicked off, this mass gathering at a Wuhan water park, partying in close quarters and face mask free. The lockdown lifted in Wuhan, where there has not been a local case reported there since mid May. In California, pandemic progress. Overall, the state picture is stabilizing and coming down some. But now bracing for double trouble from a foreign virus and a familiar one. This year, together flu and COVID make us particularly worried. So you are advised to get a flu vaccine to prevent a potential outbreak and to prevent further stress on our hospitals. San Diego County now off the state watch list, fewer than 100 cases per 100,000 people. If they can keep that up for two weeks, students can return to campus. Meantime, Riverside County is now requesting the state allow residents back inside houses of worship and back inside restaurants right after Labor Day. I'm Robert Kavasik. Chuck.